Alrighty, so a little update on U7 rating. So we are currently doing difficulty 3 and trying to get close enough to, you know, push for 100% here in one of these raids coming up. Uh, I've switched to a new team that I've been working on, uh, specifically adding Ebony Maw to the mix and also Thanos. Um, so in this team, uh, I'm going to hit, uh, or with this team, I'll hit House Call, Green Thumb, and the War Machine node. And you'll see these are all actually one shots with a 437k team, which has Thanos in the middle feeding energy to Black Bolt and Ebony Maw, along with Minerva on the end for, you know, revives and heals, and then uh, Ultron for all of his minions and buffs that he supplies. So the really cool thing about Ultron is he is global and his minions will not steal energy from Thanos like Greg does. So that's why I've had to drop Hela. Um, just Greg's getting energy just kind of ruins the flow. Uh, this way I know it's going to the two guys that really need it. And um, it just makes a big difference. But anyway, even though we have a Doctor Strange here, the offense down prevents him from flipping a lot of the buffs, especially when you have tier 14 characters. Um, the higher the resistance, obviously, the less likely he is to flip all those buffs. And so I think that makes it a lot, lot safer of a bet. Uh, but this this is working pretty good. Um, so I just have to kind of get through these taunts from Drax's. Um, and really, since you got to kill everything in order to one shot, there's only 12 enemies on this node. Uh, it's really not too big of a deal here. Uh, I opt to not waste the Ebony Maw alt there or the Minerva one because I'm not really hurting that bad. Um, but we're just going to keep on whittling these guys down and uh, focusing them as much as I can. Um, and really, it's just a matter of, you know, getting your buffs up and keeping them up and so the cadence really is just a matter of making sure that ebony maw can get his special up every couple of turns because he gives that he gives you that defense up and i think that's what really helps with the sustainability of this team um, for this node though i didn't really have too much trouble with it i just had trouble with the timing but since i upgraded black bolt to tier 14 and i got ebony maw in the mix with tier 14 as well um, it makes it super easy uh, so you'll you'll see here it's just all the Ultron buffs, that's all they're really there for is to buff everybody else. <laughs> I mean, Ultron does some work, but, you know, Black Bolt getting offensed up with his alts and his specials and stuff, he just does so much damage, it's insane. Um, I've also tried this with Symbiote Spider-Man instead of Ultron, and that does tend to work pretty well, too. Uh, I love the AoE... Um, low for two turns with him, and the stun is really useful in a lot of cases. Um... He can be a very useful t sor uh, source of damage as well as debuffs, and also those debuff extensions sometimes come in handy. Uh, but you can see here we've got three minutes left, only two minutes into the node, and uh, we're just working on the last wave here before we finish up. And uh, so I switched there for a sec to the uh, Carnage just to give him offense down, but then it follows up with the Ebony Maw special, so we should be okay. Um, but really it's just a matter of slowly uh, getting the rest of these guys down so we get a little bit of energy and hope that Thanos generates some energy for, for Maw along the way here. Because uh, he needs five energy for each special uh, and he just used it on his last turn so he needs five, well really four energy and then the next time he gets a turn he'll have five. Um, so we're just trying to slow the pace here a little bit but that's really hard to do with this team because anytime somebody goes in the red Black Bolt's going to tap him down and most likely kill him, as you can see here. Alrighty, so that was an easy win. Um, that team did particularly well. I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit to uh, Green Thumb. So same team on Green Thumb. And we're going to start here. The de uh, the Daredevil does his ult to start. Um, so I opt to put the offense down on one of the Hand Assassins just because they do a decent amount of damage with their ult, and you can see there. And so what we're trying to do is keep Thanos alive here if we can. Um, he does die sometimes, and that's okay. It's really not a big deal. Uh, but here I didn't use the Minerva ult because I knew Thanos was pretty much going to die, and they have a lot of evades up, so it doesn't really do a whole lot if... Uh, if the evades are up. So what we need to do is uh, heal up and then let Minerva um, go ahead and res Thanos. So here we go, he comes back with two death proofs and uh, now we start the cycle all over again and we got these offense up Black Bolt here to do some big damage and then tap these guys in. Uh, makes it a lot easier. There's a whole bunch of energy for Maw and uh, that really gets the train going. So. This particular team um, is very efficient, and I do have six reds on Black Bolt and Maw. 
and then five on Thanos and Minerva, and of course none on Ultron or his minions, but that's okay, because they're just buff machines, and Ultron, you know, it's really just his ult that does a lot, and then occasionally I'll use his uh, basic to dispel like a taunt or something, or take some buffs away. Uh, but you can see there, man, that Black Bolt just annihilated that Daredevil. Uh, it's pretty awesome. This team is just wrecking this U7, U7 difficulty 3, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've made it to where this team can basically uh, go on auto, but I don't do that in vi this video. I'm actually just manually playing the whole thing because I just want to be sure that I uh, one-shot all these nodes to get them together into one, one string of a video and uh, show it off because... This is just killer. This, this makes my life so much easier because I, I used to hate doing U7 because it would just take forever. I'd have to manually control everything. Uh, but this team, once you get past like the second turn, you can just put it on auto and let it run until you know last wave and then, then manual it uh, with basics down so that you have the energy to start the next wave or the next node um, safely. So you can see here, we got another offense up Black Bolt Alt, which does a lot of damage, but they all have defense up, so I didn't do quite as much. I go ahead and opt for the special just to be sure. You got plenty of enemies on the board, so every one of those is two energy created by Thanos for um, for him to share with his friends, and so that's always nice. And and you don't really need to worry about saving energy until there's like three or uh, three or four characters left. Um, right here we got five though, but uh, yeah, just check this out. Just just like not even really breaking a sweat here too much. I mean, I lost Thanos right off the bat early. Um, but for the most part, this is a, a fairly easy uh, win. All right, there's the Maw ults to clear those evades and then do a little bit of damage and drain. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to bring it home here with some lesser basic attacks and uh, see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so just basic, basic, basic. That's, that's what we're doing here to tap them down. And then the next one, the next node is the one that I think is actually really difficult to one-shot. And I was able to do it with this team on my first try, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, but it works really well. You can see there's some more energy for Black Bolt, so he'll have his stuff charged. Alright, so War Machine node is really notoriously tough. Uh, a lot of people said it's harder than the Ultimus node, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, we'll see. Um, same team, same layout. It was working so well, why change it, you know? Um, so we'll go ahead and start uh, this node with everybody fully charged and ready to go, which is always key when it comes to raiding. Like, you always want to make sure you're slowing yourself down at the end of the previous node so you can go ahead and ensure that you uh, have everything ready for the next one. Now, the funny thing is there, it actually ability blocks Star-Lord because Maw actually had a charge left over from the previous node. And so that's kind of a neat little thing that can happen sometimes. Um, I took the, or I opted to use the Black Bolt basic there to remove the offense up from the Cyborg. And uh, now we'll just focus down this tank because he taunted. Oh, but we don't have his ult ready. One turn off. <laughs> All right, and then we got Thanos is a little bit low, so he needs to get a little healed up. And then we can always use this ult to top him off. And so we do right here, and that gives him a ton of health. So, there we go. There's the offense up Black Bolt ult against all these tech characters. Look at them just go tap, 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 tap. Love it. Mm -mm -mm. All those heals, everything. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so um, Ultron needs four energy to get his minions uh, to be resummoned next uh, next turn so i go for the alt here although normally i would go for the basic to remove the taunt so we could go after like black widow or ronin or something um but i didn't have an opportunity to do that here um because i needed that energy but uh so we got thanos tanking again there's the taunt removal but of course drax is just going to taunt on his next turn rocket without Groot is kind of sad i will say that <laughs> um yeah, that Iron Man doesn't do much. And so now I'm thinking like, oh wait, no, I need to get rid of Black Widow because she's about to share all these speed buffs and I hate that. So go after her a little bit. Let's see. Try to get her down before she does something stupid like share all those 
speed buffs. And then I opt to switch to Rocket because I didn't think I could finish Widow in time before she did that. So, yeah, that's how it goes. All right, let's get those buffs off of Ronin. He's going to do his ult, which is pretty nasty. So I want to make sure I got him down uh, before he did that. That'll kill Drax with the drain from Maw's ult. Uh, Ultron here just steals the buffs because he can't kill him quite yet. <laughs> Alright, and then we got Iron Man, War Machine, two Black Widows on the board now, but that's okay, because speed buffs are redundant if they're both cast. Uh, but we need to get rid of this ability block from Ronin that's coming up, and so that's why I opt to focus him down, and then uh, do the offense, or no, no offense up, but big Black Bolt ult always is good. Um, then really just steal that death proof and then go to town on War Machine so he doesn't get his special or ult off. His special hits pretty hard actually because he gets the multiple attacks and uh, yeah over and over and over again can wipe your your minions or even one side of your team. <laughs> Alright let's see how this goes. I think I just finish off Black Widow here and yeah get that energy back. Need that. And then focus them down real quick and that's that's one shotting war machine with a decent amount of time left um, we have a minute 30 right now with three characters so plenty of time to finish up here and uh, let black bolt do a bit of work <laughs> there's a lot of tech characters on this note so i would say black bolt is essential specifically for this note uh, but if you didn't have black bolt or he wasn't raid ready mm, i could you could hmm. You could swap in, like, maybe a Hela, or, I, I mean, even Symbiote, I think, is worth it. Put Minerva behind Thanos so her and Ma share the energy, and then just throw in, like, Symbiote Spider-Man with Ultron on the sides. And that you'd have plenty of sustainability, a lot of crowd control from Symbiote, and then just straight damage from Ultron could work pretty well. All right, so I get a little bit too big for my britches here. Um... I've been wanting to attack this node for a while. I never got a chance because it's usually down by the time I get to it. And uh, so I'm just like, hmm, should I do it? <laughs> and I'm thinking like, uh, I don't know. Okay. So I'm rearranging my team a little bit to put the healers on the edges just to keep them safe. Hmm. And I added Phoenix in place of Thanos because I thought, well, why not? You know, she's, she's pretty awesome. And uh, maybe these... These two supports can keep her and everybody else alive. But, uh, you know, that sometimes doesn't happen. Yeah, so there's the Korath ult. Takes out Ultron in one turn. Uh, and I'm like, well, okay, what do I do now? Uh, and Gamora resisted the uh, bleed from Minerva. She goes on to one-shot several characters and then bring out the Dark Phoenix, who gets to at least use her special, uh, which is a decent amount of damage, 150k apiece on these guys. Um, so yeah, and then there's the offense down from Maw, we got the Black Bolt ult to do some extra damage, got rid of that Gamora, <laughs> but you can see my guys are just getting wrecked, I, I need, I need something else here. <sighs> kind of a shame, but yeah, the Ultimus node I think requires a sack, you know, just throw your Brotherhood or somebody at it that can sustain a little bit to waste a bunch of abilities, and then just send in your main team later, and uh, you should be able to clean it up okay. It wasn't like an ungodly amount of characters or anything like that that you had to fight, it's just they hit really, really, really hard. So, uh, and as you can see there, I did 26, uh, or no, 36 million damage or whatever, um, so that was pretty good. Um, here, I didn't get to pause it. Um, there we go, 36 million damage on my lane, uh, getting all the way up to Ultimus, doing a small amount of damage to his team, and then uh, just saying, okay, I've had enough of this. But next time, I know, I need to send in the sack team and uh, take, all those uh, take all those big attacks and then go back in with my team. It's a little bit slow to start, but once it gets rolling, it's pretty strong. So that's my current raid team. Uh, I happen to think they're pretty cool. Um, if you want to see, I can switch back here to my roster real quick and uh, show you here uh, what that team looks like. So we got Black Bolt at 6 red, 6 gold, uh, 103k. Uh, Phoenix, who I used on the last node, but she wasn't really that important. For the actual raid team, I was using Maw. I was using Black Bolt. I was using Thanos. Uh, where did you go? Oh, well, there's Minerva and Thanos, right? See both five reds. 
Um, I bought the fifth red on Thanos, of course. And then uh, who's the other one? Ultron. Oh, so everybody has the same Ultron. 68, 148. That's that's Ultron. So I think everybody's got him maxed, but that's what I'm looking at. So that's going to be my new U7 team going forward. I think it's really easy. I think it's sustainable. And best of all, you can auto for a lot of it. So if you get stuck somewhere, you can just hit auto and uh, it'll keep going pretty pretty seamlessly. So uh, it's it's a, it's a pretty good setup. But let me know what you think. If you get a chance to try it, let me know how it works for you or if you got an idea on other characters to bring. I mean, really, the side characters, you could bring a whole bunch of different people. I just bring Minerva to be safer, and I bring Ultron because the buffs are just crazy. So getting all those those bonus buffs and attacks and everything is just awesome. Speed up, offense up is just great. And it's in an Ultron uh, bot for you know pulling in those bots and stuff and summoning them and you gotta think like you know there aren't a lot of characters that can provide all those buffs with with minions to take damage as well so it's just uh it's just a really nice setup so give it a shot let me know what you think and i'll catch you later thanks for watching